This ANL 85mm throttle body is gonna be something that you're gonna wanna check out if you're looking to squeeze every last bit of power out from your naturally aspirated setup and you already have some supporting mods. Throttle body by itself isn't really gonna net you much in terms of horsepower, but an aftermarket throttle body upgrade like the CNL does complement other bolt-ons like cold air intakes, headers, and intake manifolds. If you don't really have much done to your car at this point, but you're looking to make more power, I'd suggest some other items like a custom tune, a cold air intake, or an exhaust, just to name a few things before moving on to the throttle body. I'll go over the install for this later on, but I can tell you right now, I'm gonna call it a one out of three wrenches in the difficulty meter and about a half hour of your time. The stock throttle body in the GT is 80 millimeters so the 85 millimeter is a step up and it's gonna be able to flow more. That being said, the stock throttle body doesn't really become a restriction until you already have some mods. I'd recommend this throttle body if you've already done some work to your Mustang and you're looking to get the most out of the naturally aspirated setup. The 85 millimeter is big enough to allow more airflow, but not too big to cause issues with drivability. If you're looking to go with a forced induction build, I'd recommend a 90 millimeter throttle body instead and BBK makes one that you can pick up. Looking at the construction a little bit, this is CNC machined aluminum with a black finish and includes the drive-by-wire electronics ready to go. This is gonna make the throttle body a plug-and-play direct replacement. Now this is a no-tune required part, which means that you can just install this and go and have no issues. But I do wanna say that if you want the most performance possible and you wanna get your money's worth from this product, I'd recommend a tune. Without a tune, you won't be able to maximize power gains. As far as price, you can expect to pay a touch over $500 for this throttle body. CNL is priced closely to your other option, the BBK, but the CNL is a little bit more expensive thanks to the black finish that it has. The BBK has a natural finish instead. There really isn't much in terms of aftermarket throttle bodies for the S550, so you have the CNL, the BBK, or the Ford Performance 87mm option. As far as the install goes, this is gonna take about 30 minutes to install. I'm gonna call it a one out of three wrenches in the difficulty meter. The throttle body already comes with the sensor, so you won't need to transfer that over, and this is a direct bolt-on replacement. You need a few basic hand tools, and that's all. You'll have to remove the intake tube from the factory throttle body, and note any hoses or connections that you remove here, since you'll have to reinstall those. Disconnect the TPS sensor and the throttle control sensor. After that, you can pull the factory throttle body. There are four bolts. Then you can put your new throttle body onto the manifold. You can bolt the throttle body down, plug back in your connections, and install the intake tube, along with all of the other connections that you uninstalled when you remove the intake tube. Wrapping things up here with the CNL 85mm throttle body, this throttle body will fit the 2015 and newer GT Mustang. And you can check it out more online right here at AmericanMuscle.com.